Welcome to Science 100. I am your instructor for the course, Dr. Sabrina Walthall. Uh, I'm showing you first your Blackboard website, hopefully that you understand um, where your website is, how to get to your Blackboard website. Once you're at the home page, you should see the course for Science 100. So you want to go ahead and click on your course. <coughs> Upon entering the course, you should see off to the side all of the tabs that I have prepared for you. These uh, will be used throughout the course. So you'll find your syllabus, class PowerPoints, virtual labs, which will be conducted, your Dropbox for dropping off your labs once they're completed, your lab journal, which will go with your project, uh, quizzes and exams, which happen every week, and then if you needed to email me, check your grades or any of the other tools that are available through Blackboard. So let's start out with your syllabus. Click on syllabus, it'll open. And we see here we have the spring 14 online syllabus. So go ahead and give that a click. And hopefully, if all works well, it pop up. And just because we want to, apparently my computer is freezing. We are in real time and although we are not in class, you will definitely feel like you are. So sometimes you get this blue bar that blinks, you just wanna click on download file. Just means my pop-up blockers are still on. And so then I wanna hit open. And this should open up a Microsoft Word document for me. I just wanna point out that there is an online class. So being computer savvy is a must because we have nothing that we see each other face to face. So you have to be able to upload documents, you have to be able to do the virtual labs, and you also have to be able to hear me. So you need to be with a computer that has speakers or where you can plug in a headphone set and listen. It's gonna be very important that every week you log into Blackboard and go to our course. Actually, as you'll find out, you should be logging in at least twice a week, once to review material, and two to then take whatever quizzes or tests that are due. Uh, because it's an online course, you want to interact. You have to make yourself interact with the computer where I am located <laughs> as often as possible so that you can pass this course. It is not like a face-to-face, -face, so you definitely have to put in more effort. Now, if you have four hours every week to sit down and do the course, then you should be fine. But if you don't, you really need to space your time out. And you should know for yourself, because I am telling you, if you don't sit down on one sitting for four hours, you have to at least visit this website, visit Blackboard at least twice a week in order to get everything done. I'm just saying that's the way it'll have to work. That means that you've decided to break it down into small bites for yourself where you're gonna do everything in two hour chunks or you're gonna come through a little every day and work on it. However you choose to do it, know that online course means that you have to put forth the effort. I've done and will do everything I can to make it as clear, clear and plain, plain and clear to you. Thank you, remember we're in real time so I can't make mistakes. But I do want you to uh, definitely make sure that you are doing your part in order to complete the course. All right, so here's our syllabus. As we see, um, you're in Science 100, Method of Scientific Investigation. This is Spring 2014, Session 2, and this is online. Again, Dr. Walthall, uh, my office is in Stetson, Room 121, if you ever are on the Macon campus and would like to see me. If not, Here's my office phone and my email by which I can be reached. If you do leave um, voicemail, it does go to my email, so I will get it. Give me at least 24, 48 hours at the max, especially on weekends, to contact you back. And I usually will make up for whatever time that we've lost, especially if it was a huge problem. Um, <clears throat> Looking at the course description, it says that there's a prerequisite for Math 120 for this class, and I just want to point that out, that if you have not had Math 120, you might have a problem uh, doing as well as you want to do in the course. Not saying that you, um, it is a prerequisite. So 
it means that we're expecting you to know the basic math, how to deal with algebraic formulas. Uh, this is methods of scientific investigation. And we use, uh, as you see, Integrated Science Book by Tillery. And that book takes us through all of the scientific discipline, starting out with a little bit of chemistry, a little physics, and a little biology. So we'll touch on all three, again, integrated science, so that you'll leave the course knowing a little about everything. With that being said and that in mind, you can use uh, the second through fifth edition for the book. Any of those are fine because, again, we're teaching the basics. I have, however, created an ebook that's online. So all you have to do is click on this website or copy and paste it into your browser and then put in this number. And this is the ISBN number for the ebook that was specifically created for Science 100. Anything else that we have, um, I will either tell you that it's located at the library or you can find it on your Blackboard site. Uh, we will use Blackboard extensively, so please make sure that you are checking it regularly and you understand how to, again, upload things, how to listen to videos, and how to, be, how to manipulate or open up the virtual labs. Uh, these are the student learning outcomes, which I won't go through. Uh, the online classroom policy, I just want to talk about the things that are in bold. I expect you to read everything because this is our contract, so you do understand all of these are important, but the ones in bold are very important, just so you understand. Students are expected to log in each week and complete all assignments. Final grades are lowered by one letter grade if students do not log in 25% of the scheduled online time. That means two online sessions, which means that you've missed two assignments or two weeks worth of work. If that has happened, you have automatically lowered your grade yourself. Uh, absences are excused if you have official documentation or an obituary of some sort that you upload or scan in so that I can see it. Uh, we do live in real life. So things do happen, we know that. But for the most part, you want to make sure that you are aware that you need to be online every week. Late assignments will not be accepted. Can't do it just because science, we move at a fast pace and you have to keep up. I reiterate, you have to keep up because once you're behind, it's very hard to find yourself in a better position unless you are already very well versed in science, you understand it all. And from what I've gathered from most students over the years, that's not the case. You're really gonna have to make sure that you put in the effort to keep up with the assignments. Saying that there are no makeup quizzes or tests unless it pertains to number four, meaning someone was sick, in the hospital or passed away. Um, no labs ever are made up, even the virtual labs. I will stick to this as I do in the face-to-face. -face. Again, everything is happening. Every week, something has to be done. Once you start missing things, then it begins to pile up. So this is the course that you really have to stay on top of things and say, hey, I know I have this to do for Science 100 today. Let me go ahead and do this so that I don't miss those points. All right, so moving on to uh, um, the online community of respect, it's the same as this in your face-to-face -face classes, meaning we have respect for academic integrity, meaning that we respect the dignity of each member in the community and we take uh, responsibility for the consideration and the rights of others. We have respect for the university community, showing respect for our property um, if you come to the campus, and then just respect for our community authority, meaning that you have respect for those who are in authority at the time that you are taking the course. Um, also, um, as we do in our face-to-face, -face, uh, online we have academic integrity, which just means that uh, you will honor 
you are under the honor system and you will exhibit values of honesty, trustworthiness, and fairness regarding all of your academic matters. This is to just say just because we are, on, are online does not mean that you should not be doing the work, that you should not be the person who is putting forth the effort in turning things in. So we are in an agreement that everyone in the course is working on academic integrity. If you have a disability, you need to contact our disability office so that um, arrangements can be made for you as far as in testing uh, or any Thing else that you might need in order to help you in the online course. Uh, Miss Borough Bridge on the Making campus and for the other campuses, you can kind of use this website link and find out who's on those campuses that you need to talk to so that I will know. Um, you just can't email me or call me and tell me that you have a disability. I actually have to have a written statement from them. It's actually a form that I fill out. Um, and so we'll find a way. I'm quite sure she can send it to me electronically. However it goes, that form has to get to me before I can make any changes that will allow you to be successful in the course. Grading policy. The grading policy is just what the department has come up with to say what we think an A through F means because students and faculty do not always think the same. Uh, just wanted to know that just because we pay does not mean we get an A. Um, you really have to work in the class, you have to work in the course, you have to definitely keep up the pace. And um, if you are successful at it, then you should fall right where you want to in terms of grade. Going on to grades, we are on the grading scale of A through F. I do round up 86.5, will give you an 87. But once I uh, tally up the grades, wherever they fall is the letter grade that you will receive. So by the end of the session, I believe we have worked out everything we need to work out. And so I do not change grades at the end, especially when it comes to miss work, because I've said several times that you have to keep up. So how is everything going to be graded? You have labs, which are going to be 25% of your grade. Pre-quizzes are 10%. Tests, 40%. Journal entries, 10%. And then you have a lab report, that final project of 15%. So moving on to what the schedule looks like, each week you should see this little schedule. Here you should pull up your syllabus and see, oh my gosh, what do I have to do this week? So every week you have a quiz. It says quiz one and two. That is the name of the quiz. Not that you will take quiz one and then quiz two, but the name of the quiz is quiz one and two. All the quizzes need to be taken by Friday at midnight, not this Friday as in March 7th but before we reach the next Friday when the next quiz opens. So you have always a week to complete everything that's in this area for week one. So you'll have a lecture tonight on the scientific method. Um, you have worksheet that you can go through. Worksheets are up to you. I will have them out. I will walk through them. I will take time to uh, go through them with you. And they really help you on your exam. So it's only up to you not to do the worksheet if you would like. But I am telling you that if you do the worksheets along with me, you will be most successful on your exams. We have a virtual lab also that's going to be due this week. Uh, and it's on the scientific method. And so we'll talk more about that as we go back to our Blackboard about how to do those virtual labs. So again, moving on to week two, you see the same thing. You have quiz three and four. Again, the name of the quiz. You have the worksheets that are available to you and then the lab that's available. Week three, I just want to point out so that you can see the difference. You have a test here and the test will be on the scientific method PowerPoint and chapter eight. And so these also have to be <coughs> due, excuse me, <coughs> by Friday at midnight and that means that that's Friday of the next week so you have seven days to complete all of these assignments that are here week four you have test two moving on to week six where there's test three and then week eight where there is test four you'll see in week seven that you have your final lab report due 
And so that lab report has to be five pages minimum. We will talk more about the lab report as we go through the course and what is expected. Just to give you a glimpse in your lab report, it should have the following an introduction, a method section, a results section, interpretation, discussion section, conclusion, and references. And as I said, we'll go through this a little more and get closer, but that will be due in week seven. Uh, the week of Easter is April 18th and 20. Mercer has recognized that as Easter holiday, so we will not be online since we've started on a Friday for that day. So we will reconvene though on April 25th. Um, if there are no questions, um, as I feel like I'm in class, um, I will say that's all about the syllabus. If there is, please email me them or give me a call and ask any questions that you like about the syllabus. All right, so we will, I guess, move on to the next step.